Um, now let's get into performance. What one of the original um, ideas or the original benefits of Green Plum is to make sure that we have super high performance, ultimate performance on your on your data, and that continues to be a day in and day out focus. Um, let's start with um, indexes. When it comes to indexes, indexes are a well-known methodology to make databases faster. And it's something we take very, very seriously in Greenplum, and especially in Greenplum 7, is support for a wide breadth of indexes. So you can see here um, at least seven different types of indexes that Greenplum supports. And that makes us really, you can think of it as not only an analytical product, but a searchable product where you can search for data. And, and it's part of this hybrid transactional and analytical system that you can use these indexes for even doing uh, updates at um, thousands per second. Um, everything, I'm gonna drill into these, so let's go forward um, to the next bit. So starting with Btree, one of the side benefits of Greenplum 7 that, that people may not notice straight away is that the Btrees actually got tr tremendously faster. Transactional workloads, even though GP6 was already massively faster than GP5 when it comes to transactional workloads, GP7 is even faster. And this test is showing four and a half times. And because the catalog is based on B tree indexes, that means that the overall snappiness of the system is improved. So again, overall a better product and having fast transactions and fast B tree is, is fundamental and really quite different than a lot of famous data warehouses out there when it comes to what we can do with B-Tree indexes. Um, now, we don't stop at B-Trees. Let's talk about the block range index. Frank, can you take this one? Yes, for sure. So block range index is a data skipping approach. So again, you have in many solutions where you can skip the block to read by uh, uh, storing just the min and the max per block. So this is uh, something uh, pretty popular. Uh, something, first of all, I want to add as well is most of the customer with Greenplum, they are not using indexes, so they can work without indexes. But we see also some use case. So we have a customer and uh, the table can be over 10 trillion, so 10,000 billion. So this is where you need indexes. And of course, you can have drawback with the battery indexes. So the, the block range index is going to provide a lot of benefit. We can see the next slide where we try to summarize you know, the benefit. So first, uh, so we did a very small test on four small VM, 500 million rows. On the top left, you can see that if you compare with no index and with uh, when you are creating the, the table with the block range index, the impact is very minimal regarding the space. So I think this is very, very important because battery can take a, a lot of space. On the, if you look about loading, so the impact also for the load uh, is minimal compared to the battery. And then at the end of the day, depending on the type of query, of course, the acceleration is similar to battery. So uh, again, this is from my point of view, also a game changer regarding the way you are going to develop application with Greenplum, because then you will be able to uh, create table, create indexes, and then be able to load without dropping and recreating the indexes. So again, simplification and uh, higher performance for the application. Right. And then another new index type is called covering indexes that we support in GP7. So in the covering index, you can see the include syntax. What the include syntax means is that the columns are actually stored in the index, the column data. And so if you're trying to do this high concurrency transactional lookups, you don't even need to reference the data. We don't even need to reference the data files to add, to retrieve the query results because it's all included in the index. That's a covering index, which is new in GP7. And um, oh, OK, so we've kind of covered indexes. There's a lot of stuff there. Again, I do um, think it's a competitive advantage when you look at all data warehouse products in the market, compare their index support to ours, you'll see that it's, this is a, a leadership position for us when it comes to data warehousing. And then just-in-time compilation. Frank, what's your initial thought on this one? So uh, again, this is uh, uh, another interesting optimization. So again, it will really depend on the type of query, but as you can see for the uh, TPCD, 
on some query where you need to retrieve, a, a, I would say, a lot of uh, row and you need to manage a lot of columns, the impact is pretty high. And this is, again, transparent for the developer. So this is something uh, in uh, optimization inside Greenplum. So again, um, great benefit. Right. And, and not only that, but you, you'll see that sorting of data is faster in GP7. And sorting is a fundamental primitive that's used in all kinds of queries. So the fact that sorting can be up to 50% faster, you can imagine the benefit that that provides across a wide range of workloads.